Good morning, this is Steve on Monday, November 15th, 2010. What I'm doing today is demonstrating a slightly different firebox construction. This is a 24 inch wildfire elm stove fitted with a long stainless baffle. Uh, the box beam, which supplies ample air and oxygen for secondary combustion and as in previous videos it has a pair of side mounted U-tubes the, different, the difference is with these there are no holes in the tubes they're simply solid tubes that enter and exit from the rear of the stove and I will carefully walk around to the rear and show you those Okay, in the center of the screen is one sticking out about two inches and just above it a few inches is another one sticking out about one inch and the air comes in the lower one the temperature of that is about 200 degrees the temperature rise to the upper one It's hitting 500 degrees. And what happens is the air enters the stove at the rear, zips around toward the front, and goes back the upper leg and out, adding some warm air to the room. The air passing through there is probably in the nature of 500 to 1,000 degrees, depending on how hot the fire is. So that adds to the radiant heat. Obviously this is a radiant heat wood stove with much of the heat radiating from the, the surface. So what I'm doing is reducing the primary air intake so that you can see once again what those secondary flames look like as they roll around to the side of the stove around those upper tubes superheating those tubes and this is in a way similar to the old free flow stoves where part of the tube was exposed on the inside of the stove picked up a lot of the the heat from the stove and passed it out into the room I just thought you might be interested to see that the old boy's still working on things. It's never good enough to leave things the way they were. I always have to take things one step further. Thank you for watching.